Before we begin our wireframing, let's start out by planning our application. So to do this, let's start out by answering a few questions. So we're going to go through four steps. We're going to answer some questions. Next, we're going to do some user stories. Then we're going to model our data. And then we are going to think through the various pages uh, we will need in our application. So the questions we're going to be answering are um, the what, why, and what. Uh, what are we building? Who are we building it for? And what features do we want to have? So let's start by answering those. So I'll say, what are we building? Well, uh, we are building a personal site, a place where we can blog, uh, share examples of our work, and have people contact us. Next, uh, who are we building it for? Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, we are building it for ourselves, uh, but also the community as a whole. Um, sharing what we are learning is a, by blogging is a great way, whoops, is a great way to learn for ourselves, but we teach others in the process. Um, and one additional side effect is that we show um, potential employers that we know what we're talking about. So if you're trying to get a job, blogging is a great way to go about that. So, and the third and final question, what features do we want to have? Well, I find that Figuring out the features is best done through user stories. So let's jump to the next section real quick. I'll just write user stories. So user stories are written in a very specific manner. As a blank, um, I want to uh, be able to blank so that blank. For example, as a user, I want to be able to create posts so that I can share what I am learning on my blog. Let me make this a list. Whoops. Right, as a user, I want to be able to edit and destroy uh, posts so that I can manage my blog. Another one could be as a user, I want to uh, be able to write posts in Markdown format so that it's easy for me to write posts. Um, what, what I am writing in uh, with the hashtags uh, as the headings and all this, this is writing in Markdown, by the way. Another one could be, as a user, I want to be able to highlight the various syntax of code blocks that I share on my blog. Another one could be, as a user, I want to show the visitors um, and potential employers examples of my work. or stuff I built. Um, as a user, I want to be able to have visitors contact me contact me through a form on the site. And then finally, as a user, I want whoops, I want visitors to be able to leave comments on my posts. All right, so taking from here, we can go through and write uh, the features that we want to have in our application. For example, um, we will want posts. 
a post will have uh, the create or the credibility. So the create, edit, and destroy. Um, we'll also want the markdown formatting and the syntax highlighting. Uh, we will also want comments. And for the comments, we are going to use discuss, uh, which is a great commenting system, uh, prevents from spam, and manages it all so we don't have to. It's pretty awesome. Another thing would be uh, projects. Projects will be a bit simpler. We'll just have the credibility. And then the contact, which will just be a contact form. Um, and I guess we'll need to set up uh, something like SendGrid to actually send the emails in our application. And then finally, we're going to want uh, users, in particular just one user. Um, but we're going to use Devise for this uh, just to make sure that uh, we are the only ones who are able to uh, create posts, edit, and destroy posts as well. Um, so not anyone who knows the routing could uh, go in and do all that stuff without being logged in. All right, so what's next? We have answered those questions. Uh, we've done the user stories. Next, let's uh, model our data. So let's come down to the bottom. Let me give some space so you guys can see. All right, so uh, I think we only really need two, maybe three models. Uh, we're gonna definitely need a post model uh, let me make this bold. Uh, we'll also need a projects model. And uh, we'll also need a users model. And actually these should be post, project, and user. Because models are uh, not plural. So for a post, we're just going to need the uh, a title for it, which is going to be a string, and also the content of the post, which is going to be a string as well. And then the comments won't actually need to be on the model because we're going to use discuss. Uh, the project will be the same title string, and then we'll do we'll do a description of the project, which will be a text. Um, and then we will link to the actual project. So we'll do a link, which will be a string. So we'll have like a button on the actual post on the project page. And for the user, uh, we are going to be using device. So uh, that's all managed for us. All right, so the last thing is we need to think through the pages in our application. So let's come down to the bottom. So let's think about this. We definitely want a home page uh, for when people come on the site. Um, and the reason we go through this process is because in the next stage, we are going to uh, wireframe the user flow or how the user flows through our application. So we're going to want a home page from the home page. Uh, they should be able to go to the uh, post page, uh, projects page, and the contact page. And then we also need a post uh, show page and a project show. I'll just add this. We'll have a post index, projects index, and a contact. And I think that is all the pages we will need on our application. So even though this is a pretty simple application, it's gonna create a lot of value because uh, creating or writing about what you're learning not only helps you learn and uh, have a reference to come back to something when you get stuck. Uh, but you also teach others and you show uh, employers what you're learning. All around, it just helps you build a name and a brand for yourself. So in the next video, we are going to go through the process of creating the user flow uh, wireframe. <laughs>